Days after a federal minister's son allegedly mowed down four farmers during a protest in the North Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, India's Supreme Court has stepped in. It sharply criticised the regional government for failing to arrest the accused and has said that they've failed to act. In court, the Uttar Pradesh government admitted that not enough has been done, but said it will do its best to rectify the issue. Neha Punya has more. This is a case that has led to widespread public outrage here in India, with many asking how much impunity do the children of rich and powerful Indians really enjoy. Six days since India's junior Home Minister Ajay Mishra's son allegedly rammed a car into a group of protesting farmers killing four, no arrests have been made yet. Opposition parties are accusing Prime Minister Modi's government of shielding the accused. India's main opposition opposition party, the Congress, has also demanded that the minister be sacked and his son be immediately arrested. The minister's son has been booked for murder, but nearly a week in, he has not been questioned. He was finally summoned for questioning by the police on Friday, but failed to show up. Expressing anger at how slow the investigation has been, the Supreme Court asked local police why they haven't arrested the accused when he faces a serious charge like murder. The court also observed that clearly the law is not equal for all. It asked, will other murder suspects in the country be treated in a similar way, where the police requests them to join a probe and then waits patiently for them to show up. The top court has said it expects the regional government and the police to act responsibly. The next hearing in this case is on the 20th of October and in the interim the court has asked the police to ensure they do everything that needs to be done to protect evidence. The minister claims that at the time of the incident his son was not at the site of the accident. Neha Punia, CNA, New Delhi.